The university's Believe Bowl captains have been announced. Both the honorary captains for the football game have dealt with their own individual struggles and have overcome so much while serving their fire department. Jessica Landman has more on this story. The Believe Bowl officially announced their 2024 honorary captains for the game this Friday. Both these firefighters have faced life-threatening illnesses and have received help from the Believe 271 Foundation. The first captain is Utica firefighter Esser Kanya. Uh, first up, Esser Kenya, Utica Fire Department. He was hired on April 1st, 2018. He became a paramedic on July 22nd, 2019. He was honored as the Utica Post 229 Firefighter of the Year in 2019 and 2022 for his heroic efforts, work ethics, and always going above and beyond. But his true heroism comes with his fight against cancer. Esser continues to perform his job with the Utica Fire Department that he has done while courageously battling his liver cancer diagnosis. Our honorary captain from the Utica Fire Department, Esser Kenya. The other honorary captain for this year's Believe Bowl is Sylvan Beach firefighter, Colin Isom. Uh, our next honorary captain, Colin Isom, Sylvan Beach Fire Department. Firefighter Isom has been in a battle over the past six months, visiting healthcare facilities across the Northeast. Colin has been limited in his duties, not only at the Sylvan Beach Fire Department, but also with his position at the Norwich Fire Department. Currently, Colin is being treated for ataxia, a neurology disorder that affects his speech, writing, and walking today that has impacted his way of life. Future medical trips to facilities across the United States will be in Firefighters Isom's future. Honorary Captain Colin Isom. Both these individuals will be honored at the game and Friday night at 7 for their strength in fighting these illnesses along with their service to their fire departments. Reporting in Utica, I'm Jessica Landman, Eyewitness News. Coming up later tonight on Eyewitness Sports, a Kansas City chiefaholic has been arrested. What he's accused of doing and why he did it, along with this weekend's lineup of NFL action when we come back.